What is going on guys, my name is Fusions and today we're going to be opening up this Bakugan Evolutions Darkest Serpilius Ultra Starter Pack. So let's get started guys. Alright, so today we're going to be opening up a Bakugan Evolutions Starter Pack. This one features Darkest Serpilius Ultra or as some people might call it, Darkest Smog Ultra. We do have Ventus Colossus as well. And then we got an RLS Bakugan here, which is RLS Neo Dragonoid. Let's take a look at the back of the box so we can see a little preview of the Bakugan here. So there they are, Darkest Serpilius Ultra, Ventus Colossus, and RLS Neo Dragonoid. We do have three character cards, one gay card and six Baku cores. Let's open up this box and let's get started. Let's take a look at these Bakugan. Let's see how strong they are. We do have an RLS Bakugan in here, so I'm curious to see if this RLS Bakugan is going to be any good. And of course, we do have a couple other cool Bakugan there. In these starter packs, we do get one Ultra and then a couple core Bakugan. So that's what we got in this one. All right, so first, we're going to take a look at what's inside this bag here. Let's uh, take that. There we go. And then we'll take a look at the Bakugan after. All right, so let's open this bag. We should have everything, all the cores, the character cards, the gate card, and a couple little book things. Let's see what we have. All right, so first we do have a little rule book. Yep, some rules for how to play the game. We do have a list here of Bakugan evolutions. And I believe it's going to be the same list. Yep, it is the same list. But you can pause if you want to take a look at this list. We have seen this list everywhere. And we're still waiting for that Prisma Dragonoid. Hopefully soon. We do have some cores. So let's take a look at the cores here. We do have a Flame Fist or Fire Fist. 150B and 4 damage for this Flame Fist. 150B plus 2 damage for this Green Fist. 150B plus one damage. So I don't know why you would play this one. Might as well just play the other one. We do have, oh, okay. Plus 100B and then Pyrus and Ventus get plus three damage. I feel like we haven't seen this, uh, like the factions on the cores in a while. Unless I'm not remembering correctly. We do have a Helix minus 200B minus two damage. Looks like it's a trap. And then for the last core, we do have a shield plus 300B. All right. And here we have the character cards and the gate card. We're going to put the character cards uh, to the side over here. We'll take a look at the Bakugan one by one. Uh, but we can take a look at the gate card here. So the gate card is an Arcleon fighting a Viperagon or a Viperagon. That's pretty cool because uh, here's the actual face. And then we do have the tail of Viperagon fighting as well, which is like a snake part. Very cool. It's a cool gate card. Um, gate card number 34 in the set. I don't remember seeing this one before, so I think this might be a new one, which is pretty cool. I want to collect all the gate cards, so that's awesome. Yeah, I don't think I have that one, so that's really nice. And then uh, let's take a look at the Bakugan now. So let's take him out. So here we have uh, Serpilius. Take him out. There it is. Pretty cool. We do have the Colossus over here. There, there he is. And then the Neo Dragonoid over here on this side very very nice okay let's take a look at the bakugan one by one so first who are we going to take a look at let's look at ventus colossus so here is ventus colossus looking pretty cool flame fist and helix for this bakugan 900 b power which is really nice and three damage it does have an ability but it's a victor ability so you have to win with this bakugan and then you can activate the ability it is the minus core ability. You basically take your opponent's core and then you get to place it on the field wherever you want. So it is a good way to control your opponent's cores, but um, you can only do the ability once you win with Colossus. So first you have to win, then you can take your opponent's core. So yeah. Um, okay, so 900 B power is pretty good uh, with the Helix. Uh, the best helix gives you plus 600 B. So you would be at 1500 B power, which is actually not too bad, but it does take away three damage. So you'll be at zero damage. So 1500 and zero damage on the best helix, which is, uh, I mean, it's not too great, but 1500 is still okay. Uh, if you land on the flame fist here, 
if you want to go the damage route you could get a plus six damage so you'll get a nine you get all the way up to nine damage maybe you can play it on the damage deck maybe but what do you guys think of this ventus colossus do you guys like it do you think it could be strong let me know in the comments and here is the bakugan itself here is ventus colossus in ball form this is how it comes let's open it up on this gate card so we can take a look at it so here it is okay pretty cool the ventus colors actually do look kind of nice on it i like the uh details here on the back on its uh shell looks pretty nice um you guys know that i don't like the red as much on ventus but it does have some right there under the face on the chin and then on top on the horns a little bit of yellow as well on the feet and on the horns so yeah that's how this one looks but it's actually not too bad like it actually looks pretty cool on ventus what do you guys think of this one do you guys like it i think it looks all right it's not the best but it does look all right okay so closing this bakugan first we're gonna push the shell which is gonna push the legs in like that then we push the front legs in on both sides make sure they're both in like that hold everything together and now we push the horns and then finish it by pushing the head and locking everything together that is how you close this ventus colossus very cool bakugan uh like like i said the color scheme the ventus on colossus looks all right all right so let's roll it onto a core here let's see how it opens up three two one bro and there is ventus colossus very nice all right let's move on so up next we have the other core bakugan we got arles neo dragonoid i feel like i've seen this art before i don't think this is new art for neo dragonoid yeah i feel like i've seen it but i don't know correct me if i'm wrong we do have the a shield and a green fist for this bakugan a thousand b power okay okay a thousand b power to start off three damage as well so a thousand b power is really good not a lot of bakugan have a thousand b power so this is actually pretty cool if it had a magic shield it would be amazing because on a magic shield you can get all the way up to 1650 and then you'll have the three damage so if you can borrow a magic shield from your team land on a magic shield with this bakugan get all the way up to 1650 b and three damage that's actually a really nice rls bakugan but like i said it doesn't come with a magic shield so the problem is gonna be uh borrowing a magic shield from another bakugan in your team but with its own course um because there's no plus 400 shield uh the best shield is a plus 300 so you can only get up to 1300 b with its own shield so yeah you're gonna need that magic shield for sure so yeah if you can get that magic shield i feel like this bakugan could be really good it's a really nice rls option and not only that if they take away your core you're still at a thousand b power so it's it's a really good option i really like this one a lot finally rls is getting uh, some sort of nice treatment i would say do you guys like this rls bakugan do you think it could be good let me know in the comments I i'm curious about this one let me know and here is rls neo dragonoid and ball form because this is how it comes in ball form so yeah this is it but let's open it up so we can take a look at it so here it is it is a big big bakugan because it's the neo form if i'm not mistaken the neo form means like a strength form and then i think evo means speed form let me know in the comments if i'm wrong or if i'm right let me know because yeah i think that's what they are this is a huge bakugan this is just a core it is not an ultra and look how big it is it's it's a it's yeah it's a big one okay so you can take out the horn i'm sure it is stuck in there let me see there you go so that's one manual part that it does have i don't think it has anything else here yeah so just the horn make sure you have the horn in when you close it though but yeah uh the colors are less uh you guys know what i what i have to say about rls um it is a mustard sort of yellowish color it does um shine a little bit it's kind of like a glittery you can kind of see there you can tell uh, i do like that it does have some silver um details and a little bit of orange as well and it's sometimes they do have some gold i like that it has uh, a silver grill right there pretty cool the jawline is all silver which is nice i don't see that much i don't see any gold on this one which is kind of interesting 
that kind of sucks because i do like the gold on Aurelus. i think they deserve some gold but i don't really see any on this one unless i'm just blind and i can't see it but i do see some silver which is kind of cool at least yeah that is a uh, Aurelus neo dragonoid a cool thing that this Bakugan has is that it does have some Baku gear holes on the arms here. So you can kind of put some Baku gears on here and it will look pretty cool. Just holding like a couple of like laser guns or something. Yeah, the gear will look kind of cool on this one. But now let's close this Bakugan. So first, we're going to push the head down right here. It should lock kind of right there. There we go. We push these legs up and behind. There you go. They should stay. If not, just make sure you hold them. The tail goes in, and then the last part is pushing the both of the arms in at the same time. And it should lock. Everything together should lock. And that is how you close this uh, Neo Dragonoid. Let's roll it onto a core. Let's see how this one opens up. All right, here we go. Arliss Neo Dragonoid. Three, two, one, draw. And there it is. Pretty cool. It opens like upwards so it looks like a uh, huge it really does like really big for a core bakugan do you guys like this one i want to know arliss neo dragonoid and now for the main event of this starter pack we have the last bakugan the bakugan ultra in this starter pack we do have darkest ultra serpilius whoa that art looks crazy look at that that actually looks crazy i do like that art a lot the flames and then the uh, the colors there. They just look crazy. I like this. All right. So double green fist for this Bakugan. 500 B power and one damage. But it does have a really good ability here. We do have an ability that if you land on a green fist, you get plus 900 B power. That's actually really nice because it, it helps it a lot. Starting at 500 B power. That's not great. But plus 900 is a little bit better. So the best green fist, I think we actually got it. Let me check. I think uh, Neo Dragonoid has it, but it's basically this one. But instead of plus one damage, you get a plus two damage. So um, if you add all of these numbers up, because you do get the ability here, you would be all the way up to 1550 with two damage. So, I mean, it's not the best. You are a 1550 with two damage, which is nice. That's actually pretty nice. Not only that, but it is a green fist uh, kind of Bakugan. So you can play cards that um, help you with green fist as well. Uh, I'm blanking right now, but I think it is like a holy flame. Is it holy flame? Yeah. So there's some cards that activate good with green fist. So green fist decks have been actually pretty strong. So... I mean, it's it's not too bad to be at 1550 with two damage on a green fist, on just one green fist. Also, I'm not sure if it can double core, but if it can, that's actually really good. So what do you guys think of this Darkest Ultra Sir Serpilius? Do you guys like it? And here is Serpilius Ultra looking pretty cool. From the top view, you can see that it's just uh, black, basically just black paint. But if you look at the bottom, there's a lot of pink, literally the whole bottom here under like the belly, under the face, and a little bit of details on the arms as well. Pretty cool. We've seen uh, this new color scheme for Darkest, which is just black and then pink. And then a little bit of this uh, color here, which is like, um, I, can't, I, I can't really tell what kind of color that is. It's like a bluish, greenish sort of thing but looks pretty cool. I like the color scheme. We've seen the best color scheme of Darkest. Maybe on Blitzfox, I just opened it up like a couple videos ago, a few videos ago. So check out that video so you can see how cool this Darkest color scheme looks on a Bakugan. Blitzfox was really nice. And this one actually looks pretty cool as well, but I wish they did more of the pink somewhere on top as well, uh, because it's only on the bottom. So it kind of hides it. And when you're playing with it, it's kind of like hidden. Yeah but it's it's there so it's pretty cool um we also do have a couple manual parts which are the arms here you can kind of take them out there you go you can so you can actually you know sit it there pretty cool looks a little better with the arms out nice but if you want to close it you got to put the arms in there so make sure you have those in there do you guys like how this one looks 
do you guys like the darkest color scheme with the pink here and uh the black color mixing together do you guys like that let me know in the comments and now let's close this bakugan so first we're gonna push these legs back in like that make sure you hold them then push the sides in locking the legs in place in there then we're gonna push the head in through here all the way down and then push the tail part to close everything together and that is how you close this darkest serpilius ultra looks pretty cool i actually do like this one and serpilius has a really nice design it looks like like it's like a cool design so it's a nice bakugan let's roll it onto that core right there and let's see how it opens up it is an ultra bakugan oh i see something okay so the, my darkest serpilius it kind of opens a little bit so it's a little wobbly so hopefully it's not a problem but let's see let's roll it onto that core and let's see if it does a little jump it is an ultra so let's see three two one bro and it did do a jump as you can see uh the bad thing about it is that the core is in the air so i'm not sure if you can double core with it you're gonna have to land something like that kind of awkwardly but um there's darkest serpilius ultra looks pretty cool it's a cool bakugan and i like how it stands like that i think that looks pretty cool all right so that's it for this opening of this darkest serpilius ultra starter pack i really like this starter pack a lot serpilius ultra is actually pretty nice it can probably fit into a green fizz deck those are pretty strong so i think it could fit somewhere in those decks the the ventus colossus is pretty nice as well has 900 b power to start off and a good core lineup i would say so that looks pretty nice as well and then an aureless bakugan that i'm actually kind of like happy about because it does have a thousand b power uh it doesn't have a magic shield which would be perfect but i mean if you can borrow a magic shield with this aureless bakugan it it's a really good one so this whole starter pack is really nice um it's a cool one i really like it but let me know in the comments what you guys think of it do you guys like it and which one of these three is your favorite make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stay tuned for more bakugan openings i got lots of bakugan stuff that i'm gonna open up and i'm gonna make lots of videos for you guys so make sure to stay tuned and do not miss any videos thanks for watching guys and peace out